Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Sid here from Partridge Exterior Cleaning. Hope everyone's getting ready for Christmas and hopefully finishing early for work this year. I know I'm gonna try and be. A few jobs left and I'm done for the year. Right, I need your guys' opinion on this video. So in my opinion, I think this was really sneaky. So the title of this video is gonna to allude to something. Basically, we have got a neighbor that's not been very neighborly. Uh, there's some guttering issues on these houses. These are two semi-detached properties. I'm cleaning the one on the left. The one on the right is obviously connected to that house and they share one downpipe between them. Um, a downpipe is the piece of straight gutter in that goes down into the ground, down into a drain, which basically collects all the rainwater and dirt off the roof and expels it down that pipe so the gutter in doesn't block up. Now house number one does not have that downpipe, house number two has it. However, house number two has done some sneaky things to avoid getting house number one's runoff from their gutter in, even though they both share a roof technically and so therefore should share the guttering in my opinion but let me know what you guys think about this you'll see towards the end of the video what the neighbor has done he's uh, installed the guttering on his house himself and basically made it impossible for my customers guttering to work correctly so yeah i'd be interested to hear your thoughts whether you agree with the neighbor or you agree with the customer who thinks it's a bit ridiculous just like me but yeah enjoy the video folks bye bye
Okay then folks, that's the best I can do with that. Gosh, I am knackered, absolutely shattered from that. Um, but it's a lot better. It's starting to sort of dry out in some places. So this is gonna be a nice strong by side treatment on this. Um, and then I'm definitely gonna do a follow up because there's still a lot left that's stuck onto it. It's just super sticky and it's like ingrained. The tiles are very old. So I'm definitely gonna do kind of a, probably a two month follow up of this just to see how it's looking. I'll come and have a look at it. If it's everything's looking, sounds a pan, then we're, we're fine. But if there's still like a little bit left on there, I might just do a secondary treatment of this just in case. But I think it will be fine. I'm 98% sure um, that this will come up fantastic. But uh, yeah, it's better just with roofs like this where there's you can only get so much off. I mean, obviously the before and after is night and day, isn't it? But um, for my standards, I would ideally like to get a little bit more off than that but it's just not really possible. I'd be here for, for days and days and days trying to get like every little bit off, but yeah, um, definitely follow up with this. Apparently the back's not as bad as the front, so we'll, we'll see about that, but whew, I am tired. Nah, nah. I just made a discovery though. Alright folks, Kev's coming clutch for the McDonald's. Thank you very much, Kev. Uh, um, he's, in, he's installed his gutter on the other side, he's made it higher up. Right. So the, so these don't purposely doesn't flow towards it. Um, and he's installed a little divider in the middle where they meet. <laughs> yeah. How rude is that? So I just said to this customer, I'll, I'll, I'm going to cut it off for him. So the gutter in can flow. This, the divider that he's put in. It's, it's so illegal, man. I don't know if it's illegal, but it's bloody rude, isn't it? Oh, you don't get on? Nah. Nah, he's been causing trouble, apparently. Yeah, all right, guys. Hope you can see what I'm saying. Look, that's been done completely on purpose. That has.
Uh, cheeky cheeky. Yeah, she looked discreet there at his downpipe. He's raised it up a few inches. Just oh, so everything yeah. flows back towards them instead of. Right then, folks, that's the end of the job. So, as you can see in the video, Kev's just putting the biocide on now. So, if you didn't catch that, basically, the neighbour has installed their gutter in. Um, at the end, obviously, it was hard for me to show you guys. I didn't want to put the post numbers on and I kept moving my bloody head around. But um, the gutter in was straight, straight as an arrow. It would be very easy gutter in to put on. Um, but literally, where the downpipe goes down, he's raised it up slightly. So it all tips towards the one side instead of it tipping into the downpipe, if you know what I mean. Uh, obviously, the guy has cleaned his own roof before, hence why there's no moss on it. So he's not worried about anything blocking up his gutters because there's no moss going in it. It's only the gutters from the other side, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, kind of hard to explain then. Obviously, the divider in the middle, it was like some sort of felt, rock-hard, melted plastic type thing that was just put in there on purpose so that none of the neighbour side could go into that one, which is just ridiculous and not very fair they've bought a semi-detached house unfortunately there's only one piece of gutter in there uh, that's how it would have been when the houses were built that's just what they're like sometimes and he's just decided to be silly and saying well it's my downpipe it's on my property so i'm going to block yours off so you can't get anywhere near it uh, it's not very neighborly is it guys you know like they say love thy neighbor and all that but yeah so i hope that makes sense to everyone there's the reasons why um, i thought that was a bit sneaky probably not illegal is it but i just thought it was a bit rude um yeah and that's about it so that was one of the last roofs of the year guys i'm nearly broken up i'm starting a big big job tomorrow and then that's that's it really i've got a couple of little jobs to do and i'm done for the year but i've got a few videos in the bank ready to go for you so yeah see you soon bye bye